Yo, what's up YouTube, Ron323 Gaming here, making me another video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing Madden 05 European Football League. Before I start, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get started with this video. So we're going to be looking at the stats today and shit like that, so... um. Even though rating is out, Wells lead the league in passer rating with 96 since he is the starting quarterback. Goosby, though, leads the league in passing yards, but not by that much, obviously. And he leads the league in touchdowns. So James Goosby does, is the best quarterback in the league. I far from none. You know what I mean? Nobody's better than him. So let's just keep that a buck. You know what I mean? As McGee leads the league in completions, but Goosby is top five in pat completions. So, you know what I mean? Completion percentage, you know what I mean? Um, is Eden, but it is what it is, though, I guess. And then, um, sacks, least amount of sacks as well as, and then Eden takes the most amount of sacks. So, that's not a good thing, but. Rushing is Armstrong, who leads the league in rushing yards. Here are your thousand yard rushers. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And then touchdowns. You got Lamarcus, who leads the league in touchdowns. Only four running backs have 10 rushing TDs so far. So, yeah. Averages is Kent, uh, Mays, and all these other guys. So, yeah. And then let me see. Fumbles. Nobody leads the okay. Nobody leads the league in fumbles. As Sloane Simpson, with well, their quarterbacks though. So, yeah. Receiving. Ho is still one of the best receivers in the league. But my nigga Shaw though, he's definitely gotta be number two. You know what I mean? That motherfucker be going crazy. Pleasant leads the league in receiving touchdowns. So, yeah, that's the deal right now. And then drops, you're going to have Price, who's a rookie, who leads the league with the most drops, which is never a good thing, but it is what it is, though. So, yeah, Pancakes is, I guess, well, tackles is Hudson. So, yeah, he got the most tackles. Tackles for loss is these guys. Sacks is Brown and Williams. And then let me see. Interceptions is Trap. You got Russell. And then forced fumbles, you got Johnson, who leads the league in forced fumbles. And then fumble recoveries, which is these guys. So, yeah. And then um, block, nobody gets fuck. Safeties, okay, these are the guys that got safeties. Not that much. Defensive touchdowns is led by Juan Pot. So, yeah, man. Those are the stats right now. And so now, um, what we're going to check. Uh, we're going to check um, MVPs and shit. So let me just continue on with that one. You know what I mean? I was just bullshitting around. You know what I mean? I was looking for MVPs. I kind of forgot what was that. And I realized you had to go to stats and shit. League news. And then yearly awards. So touchdowns or MVPs. Gooseby is number two behind Lamarcus. Lamarcus having a good year, but I feel like Gooseby's season has, I mean, has been pretty good as well. He should be definitely like the best, but whatever. Barker's number three. Barker's amazing. Brown, that nigga's a goat. Um, Zeke, who's a defensive player, so yeah. And then um, Lamarcus, who's offensive player of the year, which I guess makes sense. You got Barker, you got Brown, you got Spangler. And you got hell. Spangler was one of the MVP candidates early on, but he sold, so he's not an MVP conversation no more. So these are these are players of the years now. So yeah. And then Officer Rookie of the Year, which Rice is leading right now. But you got Kirby, Price, you got um Redding, and you got Jordan. So defensive rookie of the year is all bright. Whites, wow, Brown, Wolford. And Otto. And then Gooseby, uh, of course, the best quarterback. But Eli Eli Wells is behind him, though. So, I mean, it is what it is, fellas. You know what I mean? The best running back, obviously, the Marcus, the best running back. Um, Barker, Brown, Armstrong. 
and Hale. And then the best receiver is Armstrong, Shaw, come on now, Holt, um, Breaky, and Pleasant. And then um, O-line is Strong, um, Baldwin, um, Campbell, um, Millen, and Knack. And then defense is Green, Wolford, Albright, a rookie. Uh, oh, we got rookies in there. Okay, okay, okay. You like to see that. Um, linebackers, Moby, Johnson, um, Willie, um, Johnson, and Pope. And then you got Brown. You got Thompson. You got Trap. You got Wilkes. And you got Coleman. Then kickers, Spence. McGuire, Woodson, Hitchcock, Hitchcock, and Duncan. And then you got Mike Shanahan. Come on, bro. The best coaches is Mike Shanahan. No losses. Like, come on, gang. Like, is this really a competition? You know what I mean? When you're undefeated, you're the best coach by default. So that's really it for the weekly awards. Um, let's look at the horse trailer player of the week. So, yeah. We're going to be through week 9 and week 12. So, um, James Garcia had four tackles, one interception, and one TD. It should have been um, Goosby, but he had eight tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble by Caliborn or whatever his name is. Simpson, with, okay. Stats, QB stats, looking pretty good. Then he got Brady Wallace. He did his thing in week 12. So those are the players of the week of Horse Trailer. And then we're going to look at the standings now. So here we go, man. Here we go. So, in the Alliance Conference, you got the Vikings, Devils, Wolverines, Lions, Wolves, and Bats. Those are some of the best teams in the league right now. So, let's look at the worst teams right now. So, they're the only teams that got double-digit losses, which, obviously, you know, I'm mean, ain't good, but they won't be the only ones, obviously. The Gunners are the best right now. Chelsea have been on losing streak, which is crazy because that big win they had, but I guess... So this is the national conference, you know what I mean? Or the nation conference. Yeah, we're gonna call it the nation conference. And so the worst team is Alliance and the Royalty. So yeah. So the Italian division is led by the Devils, but the Rome are still in there though. You know what I mean? We starting to see it. And then you got um the France division, which Lions and the Reds. Alright, Lions kind of fall off a little bit, I can't lie. The East German, which is red by the Wolves. So the Stars, they fell off a cliff too. So, yeah. And then the West, of course, Madrid is just unbeatable, bro. Like, nobody can fuck with Madrid, bro. Come on, gang. And then you got the England division, which led by the Gunners and Blues. But the Sky Blue is still there, though. All right, Devils fell off. And then we got the Belgium division, led by the Reds. But Belgium is looking kind of tight right now. And the Reds been on losing streak. They haven't won shit. Portal Panthers, 7-4. They kind of been on the downward slump. But it is what it is. They got the Dutch division. So these are the last teams. And yeah, man. Week 13 to week 17. See you later. Bye.